Welcome to Probably Nothing, I'm Alexander, today there's some really cool stuff and that's the IOTA and Shimmer news of the last days, here we go. Let's start with the 9th of January, here the IOTA Foundation shared an AMA on YouTube with Jonas as a guest. The whole thing lasts an hour and a half and can be listened to as a podcast. Congratulations to Regina, who is currently working at Spice 5. She was mentioned in an article as a role model and inspiration for many women working in Web3. Congratulations from me as well. CoinMarketCap posted the IOTA Foundation blog article on Twitter as a spotlight where they look back to 2022. Lyft Capital also shared this article with their community. On the same day, there was also a new Hornet release for Shimmer 2.0, release candidate 4. In general, the team has been brutally testing and changing every day. If you want to get an idea of this, you can go to GitHub and get all of these changes emailed to you. And you are guaranteed to get a full email. You can also see the fact over and over again in a graphic. A piece of surprising news came from SD Microelectronics. They published an article about IOTA where they introduced their Xcube IOTA 1 3.0 which responds to the new update so IOTA 1.5. According to the article, Chrysalis makes the whole network more efficient and robust. Why this news is so good? It suggests that a company is also using the update to IOTA to enhance its current product. This also indicates that the company attached great importance to this and the probability that ST will also use IOTA 2.0 here has increased considerably. Deeper Finance is also testing the Shimmer EVM and the team hopes that they can still set up test platform for us. A few days later, they finally showed us the user interface. It certainly looks spiffy. Be in Crypto published an article last week about ethical and sustainable blockchains. IOTA makes an appearance as well. This is about DMRV, which stores climate relevant data on the Tangle. It also praises its frugality and energy efficiency. Do you remember IOTA Heroes? The little game you could try out back in the day, it's now officially included in the Touchpoint program. In the meantime, it's no longer playable. The website has also changed and looks more like fun. You can put your name on the waiting list. If you want to try pub data in early access, you can do that too by joining the waiting list. Moving on to assembly. Here are news taking numbers. 960 million has been distributed in this round and there are about 70 days left to participate in this round. Tangle Pay is now available in version 151. This introduces the EVM beta network when it's online, which means that the wallet can also be used immediately and no special settings are required. In addition, some UI improvements have been made. What is also very cool is fake prevention. So now it's no longer possible to create fake IOTA or fake Shimmer. More measures to these problems will follow. We already know Fam United from last year. This should be the first real application running on IOTA. Now there are a few more impressions of it. The tweet says that they are ready for production and the launch is imminent. There is also a mobile wallet integrated. Spice5 has published a short video that demonstrates the speed. Now people who are not part of the test group can also see it for themselves. A larger beta is still planned for January. Everything tweets more about their social app. Starting on the 27th of January, the app will be available to try out and will be open as long as it can be, so no real time limit. As I suspected, it will be a platform like Steemit, which is really cool in my eyes, so you can earn money with the content you create by getting likes. The more engagement you get for your content, the more you can earn. But you can also earn money with good and valuable comments. On the 27th of January, not everything will be unlocked yet. You can then post, repost, like, comment and update your profile. If everything goes well, direct messaging will also be unlocked. If that also works, you can follow trends. 
Look forward to the 27th of January. That will be great. The Tangle.org will keys operations. Those who have been tracking their payment through it should now use the official explorer on the IOTA Foundation, explorer.iota.org. Let's move on to a small correction from the last video regarding Mosquito Pay. There I mistakenly said that there will be an app, but that is not the case. It is an interface between the user and application, for example gas station, as seen in the video. It will use existing apps such as Firefly, Tangle Pay or Exchanges. On the 15th of January Mosquito Pay was at the Crypto Summit in Zürich and made some impressions. Among other things, a partnership with TangleSwap is already underway. On the 16th of January there was also a small armor with Tangle Gang, only in German. There are more examples of how and where to use it. Also, Wirtschaftswoche Vivo published an article about IOTA online on the 16th of January titled IOTA Advantages through Smart Devices. It is explained what and how IOTA works, then it is written about the price and a forecast is given, in short, hard to say. Advantages and disadvantages are mentioned and that's it. Again, too little is reported about existing third-party solutions and projects. Shimmer, EVM, Binance is even mentioned as the only exchange. European exchanges that sell IOTA probably don't exist. Too bad Vivo. IOTA Foundation announced on the 17th of January that it has joined the United Nations BC100 Plus initiative. This explores the potential of blockchain and DLT technology to improve inequality, poverty and climate. A manifesto is expected to be produced in the next few years. Let's see what comes out of it. Hopefully a better name. Landex is going live, but not on IOTA, but on Ethereum's test platform Sepolia. The reason is simple, Shimmer smart contracts are not ready yet, but the product is. They are starting with Ethereum. If Shimmer follows suit, there will be a launch here as well. Since Landex is a multi-chain platform, this is not a surprise. Of course, it would be nice if Shimmer had come first. At the same time, there is a Medium article showing how to use the platform right now. Garrett Jin has revised his proposal for the IOTA SMPC. He wants to have validators for testing so that people can start now and try things out. Once the validators are selected, the platform will be launched. The selection of candidates will start from 18th to the 24th of January and the actual election will be from 25th of January to the 1st of February. Loyal is giving a small taste of what we can soon do with their application. They have developed an NFT internally. It would be interesting to know if the Schanzen Bakery is a true partner that has been there more for the beginning. For the first time this year, Adam shown a new update for Sooniverse. What exactly do we see in the video? An untangle query. With this, you can theoretically don't need Sooniverse anymore, which of course would be nonsense and quite cumbersome. The whole thing is meant as a service module and and. However, builds his own platform can access Sooniverse in just this module here. They are supposed to be projects based on it already. So much for this episode, it's bubbling and bubbling and there's something in the air. See you next time.